When a user opens the database, the navigation pane doesn't show, and that's because we untick Display Navigation Pane in the earlier section of these notes when we're in the current database options. But if the database window or the navigation pane doesn't display, all the user has to do is press the function key F11, and that brings up the navigation pane. If you want to stop users from being able to get into the navigation pane and being able to get into the back of your database, you may have to create an auto keys macro. The auto keys macro disables certain key combinations and allows you to control whether the user can get into the back or not. What I'd like to do is create a macro. So I'm going to create a macro. And what I'd like to do is add a sub macro, which is necessary for an auto key macro. So I'll drag, drag sub macro from the action catalog into the action window. And here it is here. Now the sub macro, I want to disable the key F11 so that they can't press the key F11 and get the navigation pane. And how you refer to function keys is in curly brackets. So I'm going to go curly brackets F11, curly bracket. So if they press F11, then the action I want to occur is that the machine simply beeps. Now another way that somebody can get into the back is by pressing Control F6. Control F6 will actually jump between all the windows that are open in a database and the navigation pane is considered a window. So I'm going to add another sub macro into my macro screen and I want Control F6. Now Control is represented by the caret symbol so I'll type a caret, a curly bracket and F6 curly bracket. So if they press Control F6 I also want it to Beep. But if that person happens to be me and I want to be able to press a key combination and get back to the navigation pane, then I have to make a secret key combination for myself. And I want to make it that if I press Control F1, then it takes me to the database window. So here I'm going to add another sub macro. I'm going to specify, oops, and I've just moved it, so I'll just move that down. You can move them up and down. I'll specify control, which is a caret, curly bracket, F1, curly bracket. Now if I press control F1, then I want it to select an object. So I'm going to choose the action select object. And the object I want it to, to, to select is a table. So I'll choose a table, if, but that's actually already there. And now I'll choose the name of that table. So let's just choose any table. I'm just going with campaign. But the pure act of actually selecting a table then will take you into the navigation pane. So this is how this works. If they press F11, it'll beep. If they press Control F6, it'll beep. If they press Control F1, it'll select a table called Campaign. In the database window, I say yes, which effectively takes me to the database window. And that's how you get around that. So I'm going to save this macro, just hit my save button on the quick access toolbar and give it the special name auto keys. And that's what I mean by an auto keys macro. This will control these keys and I'll choose OK. Now what I'd like to do is to close this database. I'll first of all close this macro and I'll close this database, file close. And when I open the database, donations, if I then try to press F11, it beeps. If I try Control F6, I tried it three times, I've got three beeps. But if I try Control F1, it selects the table campaign in the database window or the navigation pane. It actually has two names, so that's why it gets a bit confusing. So that's how you can control the keys, and only you know about Control F1 to get into the back.